When you think of performance, the Ford Transit doesn't usually come to your mind first and foremost. We do a lot of EcoBoost tuning, we focus on the F-150 and the Raptor, and we add a lot of horsepower to those trucks. But this little Ford Transit here, this is an overlooked platform. The thing is, this thing could use the horsepower. Being in a full-size van with all-wheel drive and loaded to the gills with HVAC supplies, yeah, pulling out into traffic and keeping up with traffic and merging on the highway, that's something where a few extra ponies can come in handy. And we know the 3.5 liter engine is capable of it, so really what's holding us back? The thing about these vans is they don't have big front ends. So you don't get the big intercooler, you don't get the big radiator, you don't get the whole cooling stack of a truck. If you look at the front of a truck versus the front of a van, you can see for yourself. Still, there's power on the table, and that's where we jump in. So on this van with the 3.5, in factory form, we move about 32 pounds per minute of air. With a tune, staying on 87 octane, not getting crazy with fuel, we can get this thing up to about 42 pounds per minute of air and still keep it very safe and cool. What that extra air does is give us about 27% more horsepower. 75 horsepower. And what's more is you get a lot of torque with that. So close to 125 foot-pounds of torque. That extra torque is noticeable all throughout the rev range, regardless of what gear you're in. If you're towing, if you're lugging, if you're just driving the van in normal operation, you can lean on the throttle, take advantage of our transmission tuning with the 10-speed, get that converter clutch locked up, get this thing lugging a little bit, and have it pull you up to speed instead of downshifting and tacking out and having you have to work the throttle and watch your mirrors. So what does 75 horsepower feel like in a van? It makes it so that you don't feel like you are an obstacle in traffic. You can merge faster than another car if you want to. It's not a race truck. It's not pushing the trans to the limit. It's not working the engine extra hard. It's just the sense that, okay, I'm using the turbochargers now. I have some boost. This thing wants to go. It's got some extra oomph. It's just a, a feeling of confidence. I know you guys who own these vans put a lot of miles on them and use them for your daily work. So reliability is one of the primary concerns. Yes, you want more horsepower, but the thing has to be reliable. If it's not, it's not worth it. So let's talk about reliability on an EcoBoost. The factory engineers have a lot of safeties built into these engines. So there's safeties around manifold charge temperature, so how hot the intercooler charge gets. There's safeties around coolant temperature. There's safeties around exhaust flange temperature, catalytic converter protection, O2 sensor protection. Um, Oil, te oil temperature, basically anything that can go wrong on this truck, there's a safety built into the factory engine calibration that's gonna look for that and back the power down in that case. What you should know is that we don't remove those safeties. So we want to keep, we want to keep this platform as reliable as we can keep it. Therefore, we wanna integrate all those factory safeties along with the extra horsepower to make sure that you have a long lasting product that's gonna to continue to deliver over the life of the vehicle. Let's talk about transmission tuning. So when you widen the power curve of the engine and you add more torque, you wanna to make sure that the transmission has awareness of that extra torque and that it has the ability to take advantage of that extra torque in the rev range. So normally when you hit the throttle, you get a certain amount of power and then you push the throttle a little further and you get a downshift. Now what we want the transmission to know is, hey, we have more power available so we can lug a little bit longer, which means you don't have to downshift as soon. With transmission tuning, we can do that. So it's a totally integrated package. It's not just engine tuning and then transmission, good luck. It's engine and transmission tuning, which makes the package that much smoother to drive, that much more long-term reliability. If 75 horsepower just doesn't seem like enough for you, certainly we can add more power, 100 plus, if you're willing to run good fuel, 93 octane. Um, but I think really that 75 horsepower is a great fit for your average transit owner, guy using the truck who wants long-term reliability out of it and really low operating costs. Right, I mean, that's the point of having this van is to maximize the utility, have an efficient platform you can drive around and service your customers with. And if you want to tow with it, if you want to use it loaded, if you want to, you know, really pack the thing full of, full of tools and have the extra power to keep up with traffic, I mean, that's, that's the customer we're looking for. If you have an EcoBoost Transit van and you think you could benefit from the extra power, give us a call. 815-568-7920. I'm Nick Pregnance.